you know, there's adaptive cruise on that vehicle, no adaptive cruise on that vehicle, and no adaptive cruise on this, my 2019 Street Glide. Also, if you have your gloves here blocking the thing, it lowers the it lowers the screen brightness <laughs> and puts on the, the lights on the gauges. Pretty cool. Let's go for a ride and talk adaptive cruise. I will make it sound as interesting as I possibly can. Yeah. Ah, that sound never gets old. All right, so first a trimmer. Adapted Cruise uses radar and camera sensors. Well, radar sensors and camera, and sometimes LiDAR to figure out the distance between your vehicle and the vehicle in front of you. Or if you want to look at it backwards, your vehicle and the vehicle in front of you. And using this calculation, it knows about how far it's behind and it can, uh, it can automatically hit the brake and gas for you to keep a set speed. So traditional cruise just goes lickety split down the road at the speed you set or higher if you go down a big hill and then if there's something in front of you, you hit it. As opposed to adaptive cruise where it goes, whoa, there's something in front of us, we better slow down and it slows down all by itself. It is a wondrous thing. Ah, and I had it on my 2015 F-150. It was a first gen adaptive cruise, not the second gen. What's up guys? Yeah, they're on YouTube now. So it, uh, the Ram has a second gen adaptive cruise system. So it goes and does start and stop and all that stuff. And it's much improved over the Ford system that I own. You know, th that technology, it just keeps getting better and better. This bike only has regular crews on it, but as I understand it, there are some BMWs and Ducatis that have adaptive crews. I don't know what I feel about that. You know, it's like, yeah, I I get what adaptive cruise does. I don't think I'd want it slamming on the brakes when I'm going through a corner on my bike. I don't think I want that. So I don't know if I would buy a bike that had adaptive cruise. Would you leave me a comment below? Let me know if you would buy a bike with crew with adaptive cruise on it but yeah I'm, I'm not doing it no i mean there have been enough issues where like teslas they removed the lidar sensors and they went with just cameras i think i believe that's how they did it and now they have issues with teslas in their autopilot mode or whatever rear ending bikes yeah because they they don't see the bike for what it is pole position yes we're winning today Turn our turn signal off. Self-canceling my ass. Hey, there we go, let's go. Nobody coming? Awesome. So this adaptive cruise thing is really cool because it gives you a less stressful environment. And I even took some B-roll for you in my truck. Now I could have recorded this in my truck, but it's like 60 degrees out or gonna be 60 today. It's in the 40s right now, so it's not too bad. And I was like, oh, hell no, I ain't missing a chance to ride my bike because my bike is a stress reliever too. Yeah, the adaptive cruise works really well at stress relieving because I get stuck in a lot of bumper to bumper traffic. And that's like one less thing I got to worry about. I steer a little bit, the truck does the gas and the brakes and the upshifts. Ah, that's better. So that's Adaptive Cruise in a nutshell. It, uh, it really does save me a lot of stress. I use it all the time in this bumper to bumper traffic, like I said, and being the data nerd that I am, I've kept track of the days where I'm in a better mood versus a worse mood. And I am definitely in a better mood when I get home from work, having driven the truck and was able to use the Adaptive Cruise. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing. And I drove an Audi years ago, it was a Q7, I think it was, Q7. And it had their, you know, level two driving system. Must navigate the corner, hands and feet are busy at all times. Lights yellow, go, 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 Wee. I like this route, we're gonna talk about that in just a minute. But I drove the Q7 and that thing, the lane keeping system, which my truck has, and it's pretty good, again, better than the Ford because it's a Gen 2 system, not a first gen system. 
The Audi was absolutely ridiculous. I didn't want to touch the wheel because it was just keeping the vehicle perfectly centered in the lane. It was awesome. And it knew when the red lights were coming up or something and stopped for the red lights. It was, it was crazy. I really wanted that car, but uh, ended up getting my Ram instead, which like I said, has a lane keep assist, which is okay, but it's, it's not great. But then again, you know, some people believe that the addition of tech dumbs down the driver. Hey, nobody coming today. We're good. Whoa. <laughs> Wee -hee -hee -hee. Yeah. I could have used some self riding tech right there. Wouldn't have made me look like such an idiot. But really, I'm all right with a certain amount of tech in a vehicle. I still, yeah, you know what? When I'm in a car, I don't want to drive. I, I'd be fine with 100% self driving as long as I wouldn't get in a wreck. But on my bike, I like the connection to the road and the elements. And I, I much prefer that over a car or a truck anyway. But I, when I'm riding a bike, I just, I want to be in control. I want to do all the things. So says the guy that sets his cruise control and goes hands-free for a mile and a half. I am a contradiction of terms, a walking one at that. And walking is just falling with style. That's right. Yeah, it's a controlled fall. But anyway, real quick before we wrap this one up, toll roads. And it got me thinking this morning, and I'm going to get on the ICC, Maryland 200. It is a toll road that took like 30 years to develop. And I mentioned it in an early, early video. I think it was the first Brighton Dam video that I did with Ironborn Rider. But I ride it and drive it a lot. I find that this toll road for a buck and a half or two bucks is like cheap therapy, go. It lowers my stress level quite a bit. And you know your old buddy John is all about the stress relieving. Oh yes got to relieve that stress baby there are so many serious things that stress you out do what you can to not get stressed out so i am gonna get on the toll road it's right over there that's it there yeah i'm right i'm looking straight and that's a, a beautiful thing i was a huge skeptic the first time i even heard about this thing i was like why would i want to ride a toll road why would i want to drive on the toll road well there's several reasons the least of which is, no, not the least of which, is it's stress relieving. It can take the same amount of time to take 270 to 495 to get to work for me. That's that's my route. You know, I-270 and then I-495. But getting on that road over there that you can't see right now, that is a huge stress reliever because it's five more miles, usually about the same amount of time but it's so much less stress because there's less traffic. And I will pay for the privilege of driving on a road with less traffic. Hey, look at that. They were paying attention. And now we get to do our zero to 60. It's gonna be a slow one because of the CRV. Oh, there they go, good. And we caught up, ha <laughs> ha, winning. So <laughs> normally there's less traffic as John changes lanes into nothing but traffic. Now, this isn't too bad. This is what I'm used to. This is what it looks like on 200. It's, it's a great thing. And I've said that like 17 times in this video. What's wrong with me? Yep, all right, I, we're going to okay speed. Oh, that sun hitting my face is absolutely wonderful. Love it. They're gonna get a ticket. A funny side story, the Maryland Transportation Authority has jurisdiction over this road for policing. They do not, however, give professional courtesy to non-MDTA police officers. I have seen MDTA pull over county cops. I find that hilarious. But this toll road just means so much less stress and it's, it's just so easy. So anyway, I'm starting to repeat myself. So I'm gonna let you go. Remember the two mantras. One, you have a 100% track record of making it through a bad day. And number two, do something nice for yourself every day, even if it's hopping on that toll road to kill a little bit of stress. Bye for now. Oh yeah, and if you like the video, boop the like button, subscribe, yada, yada, yada. And John out.
Oh, it didn't work? You're still here? Oh, well go watch the video on screen now. It's sure to be more entertaining than this. Yes, it's still one of mine. Bye!